Hi, my name is Dana Beck. And you know, we are living in some definitely interesting financial times, for lack of a better term. And I couldn't help but to think about, you know, the Great Depression that took place from 1929 to 1939. Back during the Great Depression, people had no money or very few people had money to buy basic necessities like food and clothing to pay for rent or if they owned a house to pay their mortgage, uh, to buy medical supplies and so forth and so forth. Very few people had money and it was a very, very dark time financially in the United States. And so I, I saw a, an economist not too long ago. Uh, he was predicting that it's very, you know, it's very possible for the United States to go into another depression. Well, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I definitely know this much, and I'm sure many of you have seen it as well. The cost of goods, the cost of things have continued to increase, and the buying power of the dollar continues to get smaller and smaller. I mean, as little as five years ago, I could buy a lot more with, with my dollars than I can today. And again, things are more expensive than ever before. And what's interesting, a statistic I, I saw not too long ago, in, um, in 2020, the U.S. Mint, I guess, or the Federal Reserve, I guess, uh, they printed about one, uh, $188 billion. They put $188 billion into circulation, and that was in uh, 2020. So far in 2022, I, I, this is staggering. This blew my mind. They, you know, the, the Fed has printed and put into circulation $5.8 trillion. And we're only in July as, as the time of this recording. And it just it just blows my mind. But again, you know, so so what does this all mean? What can you do to protect your finances, to protect your wealth, to protect your money? Well, there are multiple pillars that you can utilize to, again, grow and protect your wealth. You know, you, you have to have some fiat, you know, U.S. dollars. You have to have some currency in hand, sure. And also, you know, there's the stock market. There is cryptocurrency. But what I've done is I've invested in silver and gold. And why silver and gold? Because silver and gold have continued to maintain uh, value over, over the years, and what's interesting during the depression, uh, Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, the president at the time, he outlawed by uh, executive decision, executive order, he outlawed the ownership of gold. In other words, it was against the law for you to possess gold. Uh, that's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty incredible if you ask me. But today, that's no longer the case. Obviously, you can acquire, you can buy silver and gold to your heart's content. Now, maybe like me, maybe you're not Warren Buffett. Maybe you don't have millions and billions to invest in silver and gold. Well, neither do, you know, did I. But what I started doing was buying silver and gold uh, at what I could afford. You know, And the biggest key is take whatever money you can afford. Now, don't take out a second mortgage on your house and invest it in gold or silver, that, that's, that's being irresponsible. But look at your budget and no matter how little bit, if it's $5 a week or $50 a month or whatever you can afford, start acquiring silver and gold. And again, you can do it in very small quantities, but the biggest key is be consistent about it. Be consistent. In other words, don't buy some silver and gold this week and next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. And then a couple of weeks go by. Yep, yeah, I'll buy some more. Be consistent because what will happen is even though it's small quantities that you buy and that all you can afford over time, that will build. And having, again, silver and gold as part of your wealth protection, as far as, you know, uh, your, your plan, I, I think I look at it like pillars if you know silver and gold is just one pillar of an investment strategy to protect your money so again start buying silver and gold even if you do it again at small small quantities you know five dollars a week ten dollars a week whatever you can afford but again the biggest you know biggest key of all of it is be consistent stay consistent in the acquisition of your silver gold regardless of how you know, how small the amounts are, it will build over time. And because I don't know what the future of the U.S. dollar is going to be, who knows, maybe it will collapse, I, you know, and but having silver and gold will protect me 
in the event of a calamity like that, I'll still have an avenue to buy goods, to buy services, and to protect my family. So hopefully you got value out of this, and this was informative to you. And if so, please leave a comment. I really do you know, enjoy reading your comments. And if you would give me a thumbs up, woohoo, and like my channel, if you know, if you would to, you know, to learn more and to see more of my videos and learn more about things that you can do to again protect your wealth in the future. And I'll be posting more videos, more strategies, and more insight on things that you can do to manage your money better. So thank you so very, very much for watching. And if you would like to learn more, there is a link below this video that you can click on to learn more about silver and gold and how it can benefit you. So thank you so very, very much for watching. Have a tremendous day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.